Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and welcome to my blog. Today's topic has to do with Andrew Thomas recently dropping his $47 million lawsuit against the county. Why is this important. On Wednesday, August 31st, 2011, Lori Roberts, who's a columnist for the Arizona Republic, put out an article talking about all these public officials who are suing the county and costing the good taxpayers lots of money by making their claim. Now, I don't necessarily agree with her. I think if you've been harmed, you have a right to file a civil suit, but that's not the point. Here is the point. Apparently, Andrew Thomas emailed Lori Roberts right afterwards, according to the Arizona Republic, and stated, I thought I should let you know I've dropped my claims against the county and the state and won't be filing a lawsuit. I decided this is the right court of action despite all that's occurred and that somebody should lead by example in this time of economic crisis. Wow, that sounds great. Well, here's what's not so great. After you've filed a notice of claim, against a government entity, you have to file it within 180 days. Once you file it, they have 45 days or so to respond. And if they don't respond, then you're allowed to file a lawsuit. Well, lawsuits are expensive. You have to hire a real lawyer who knows how to draft it, and you have to pay filing fees, and you have to go forward. So he hadn't actually filed his lawsuits, from what I understand. And maybe even if he had filed them, maybe he couldn't afford to keep going forward. And this is the perfect time to say, well, I'm going to go ahead and drop it. Look how magnanimous I am. Here's the second thing. The state bar is going to begin their hearings on September 12th, deciding if they should disbar this guy. In my opinion, is he's trying to curry favor. He's trying to get this big quote of his, how magnanimous he is, and curry favor with the state bar. I hope it doesn't work. I've talked about Andrew Thomas ad nauseum. Yeah, I have many other blogs I've posted, and I've called out to the bar many times on my blogs, finish this already. This should be a no-brainer. Hold your hearings. And barring any new dynamic evidence, disbar this guy. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think.